Hi, Dave Odd here. I have a story to tell you with an important lesson. You see, one day there was this caterpillar and he was on a date with a hamburger. They were on a picnic in a park. It's very nice. And uh, they met on Match.com. Uh, you see, the caterpillar was... He, he had recently gotten divorced. And uh, he was, you know, feeling down and out. He got on Match.com, he saw a commercial. And, uh, you know, he just... He did like a 995 trial, like 24-hour trial thing, and he found this beautiful hamburger. And he couldn't get enough of her, you know, just reading through her profile and stuff. Now he knew, you know, he knew that, he knew that they probably wouldn't be a good match. Because they didn't actually match. But this hamburger was so beautiful he had to meet her. So he convinced her to go on this picnic with him. And he went and met her uh, in a park near her home. And, uh, <laughs> everything went wrong. I mean, everything that could possibly go wrong went wrong. He brought this picnic basket, he packed it up, he, all night long, with cheese and wine, and, you know, he was up all night just assembling stuff. He went to, uh, you know, to the, to the grocery store and got all his stuff with his preferred card. He saved, like, $37. Um, anyways, so, you know, they're sitting down, and, uh, in about to crack open this picnic basket and she says she's a vegan <sighs> wouldn't you know it all that cheese and the sandwiches <sighs> crazy you think he would have asked but he didn't he, he was not a thoughtless person or caterpillar I should say but he uh, you know he just you know he's kind of slow if you will anyways point is uh, everything that went wrong that could have gone wrong went wrong. But, uh, you know, it wasn't... Obviously, they weren't going to see each other again. They got along well enough, but, you know, she was a vegan, and, uh, you know, he just felt really silly. So he's like, hey, listen, on the way back, uh, you know, I'll, I'll give you a ride home to your place. I know you only live a couple blocks away, but I'll give you a ride home. And uh, there's a McDonald's along the way. If you want to stop, I can, you know, we'll grab you some fries or something like that. And just to be nice, she's like, all right, I'll get some fries. Now, see, on the picnic, he didn't want to eat anything because he felt bad that she couldn't eat anything. So uh, he goes through this drive through at the McDonald's right before he drops her off, and uh, he gets her an order of fries. And he gets a hamburger. And wouldn't you know it, his McDonald's hamburger fell in love with the Match.com hamburger. Like right there, love at first sight. And he obviously couldn't eat the hamburger now. Plus, caterpillars eat leaves, not hamburgers. Uh, anyways, point is, uh, you know, it was kind of a cute story. And uh, they all kept in touch. They went out for dinner all the time, and they became really good friends. And in fact, it just turns out that this McDonald's hamburger, his upstairs neighbor, was a beautiful female caterpillar. And uh, they, they all went on double dates all the time, and it was great. Uh... And, uh, you know, that caterpillar, he actually wound up being the best man at the hamburger's wedding. So, you know, moral of the story is, be nice to people, or hamburgers, and caterpillars. This has been uh, Dave Odd with uh, another completely uh, made-up fable.